Hi, and welcome to Module 1 of ORT5 MES, which is the introduction to the Australian healthcare system. My name's Mary Vukisevich, and I'll be taking you through this module. And this section, Part 1, is the introduction to the module. I'd just like to make mention that the content of the module was created by Jean Pollock, and I have now modified it and updated it um, to deliver it to you in this revised online forum. Upon completion of this module, you are going to be able to do a series of things. The first one is to differentiate and evaluate the relationships between components of the healthcare system, particularly primary, secondary, tertiary, quaternary healthcare. And also you'll be able to distinguish between the private, public and community healthcare. We're also going to cover the types of illness that require provision of different support, so acute illness versus chronic illness. And we're going to look at healthcare funding models and policy drivers. And we'll be specifically looking at um, both Medicare funded health services and private health services. And then finally, towards the end of the module, we're going to outline key areas of the current healthcare reform agenda. Whilst it appears to be quite prescribed and ordered, as you follow the readings and the tasks, you will appreciate that this topic can't be described in a top-down or bottom-up orderly progression. There are many influences, and more importantly, changing influences, which alter healthcare provision in Australia. A major influence is that of funding sources and how these are manipulated to hopefully achieve fair and equitable access to healthcare for all Australians. So as the slide says, the module will guide you through the following topics as related to the Australian healthcare system, and I alluded to these before. So we will cover primary, secondary and tertiary healthcare, acute and chronic ill health, the public versus the private healthcare system, and then also healthcare reform as the final objective. Payments for the cost of Australian healthcare are derived from various sources. These include Commonwealth funding, which we contribute to through our taxes to provide us the Medicare system. Then there's also state government funding, or there, you can also access um, funding from private health funds and sometimes the public also contribute. You will uh, no doubt be aware of the current and ongoing demands that are predicted to stretch the healthcare budget to the limit. These include things like obesity and diabetes, which the Australian Bureau of Statistics have, has described as being a, a, a quite a high burden. And this is why the current government is considering a GP co-payment, and that's been in the media quite a bit lately as to whether or not that's going ahead. So in light of these very high demands that chronic Ill, Ill health care will place on funding, in the immediate and long-term future, the government has developed various strategies to maintain adequate funding of these programs. So historically, the establishment of Medicare, which was actually established in 1984, so not all that long ago, um, it aimed to provide universal health care funding. Since then, there have been attempts to reform Australia's health system, and this has continued with the National Health Reform Progress and Delivery Policy, which was released in September 2011. The development of the National Health Care Agreement with the Council of Australian Governments, or COAG, is the working brief that will hopefully convert the policy into action. When you finish, finish this module, perhaps you will be able to decide whether this has been successful or not. Anyway, ultimately, as healthcare professionals of the future and also recipients of healthcare, which is quite important too, these will be your issues to debate and consider and act upon when you make your feeling known. And you'll, you'll make your feelings known in your workplaces, through your unions, or even at the polls on voting day. So take a look at this um, 
slide here, which gives you an idea of the healthcare levels uh, in Australia at the moment. And you'll see um, there are four boxes there, but essentially there are three levels of healthcare. These are primary, secondary, and tertiary levels. Less frequently, we have this fourth level, with the, which is the grey one, the quaternary care. And we do actually um, technically include this in the stages of healthcare. However, um, you're actually going to be concentrating more on primary, tertiary, primary, secondary, rather, and tertiary. And we'll, we'll just touch on quaternary just very briefly. This information is taken from a publication called Australia's Health. So what's actually next? The next video for module one will help you to understand primary healthcare. So please um, watch that video and follow the tasks there.